All right, so we're coming into Revit. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start a new project. Um, come up to here, um, hit new. Um, it should open up a default uh, architectural template. Um, and I am here in the Revit workspace. Here's your ribbon. So you have your home, all your uh, modeling options, your insert, um, you know, you have your structural, your site massing, etc. cetera. Um, what I'm going to do now is I am going to um, insert a CAD file. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to import the file. And I'm going to uh, look for where I put it. I'm pretty sure I put it here. Mr. Muller, profile, Revit. Make sure that my current, uh, it, this is not checked. Invert, all layers, auto detect, um, origin to origin. And it places that level one, so okay. Take about a second. Um, zoom out, find it. Um, okay, so I got my um, drawing in here. And so the next step, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a 3D model. I'm gonna create the TOEFL lines using this file here. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to go to um, Massing in Sight, go to Topo Surface, then I'm gonna go to Create from Imported, select Import Instance, select the file. It's gonna ask me what, uh, where do you want, what uh, layers do you want me to use? So I always check None, go to Topo, and then I press OK. And then it's thinking, you always have to finish the command by pressing check means, you know, finish, whatever. Um, then you could check your drawing by going to this little house. How do you say it? Uh, okay, let's see. The casa. And you just uh, click it here. Boom, there goes your cool site. Awesome. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to render it out here under this little box here, put shaded. Wow, look how amazing that is. It's great. All right, so um, next step, what I'm going to do is I am going to put a building pad on this um, drawing. And I've imported my AutoCAD uh, file that also has the floor plan in its proper um, spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, my plan view, hit top, make sure that I'm right um, in the right position. And I am going to um, go here to uh, what is it? Wireframe, and you go here to uh, let's see, go here to building pad, right? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little tricky. I'm going to actually um, use this to do straight lines. You could use these to do curved lines, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a building pad, but it's not going to go all the way out because I want I only want to do a building pad for a portion of my building. The rest will be cantilevered. Um, uh, floor slab, okay? So I'm going to start it here. Boom. Boom. And bang. Okay. Finish right here, mode. Bam, there it is right there. And then I'm just going to bring it up to um, where it should be. Uh, I think it was like 55, right? Bam. Give me time. What I'm doing is I'm just putting it to its proper height by um, clicking this property box here. So if uh, you know this little property box isn't there, you can um, let's see where is it at on modify manage. Uh, where is that here? Properties. This is if this properties box isn't here, um, I'll go over that when when it's not there. Um, anyway, so. Let me put this in its proper spot. It still looks like it's wrong. If 
funny because I have a habit of pressing return and because of AutoCAD and it, it doesn't it doesn't respond. So bam, I'm gonna shade this in. Okay. So we got our building pad, right? Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click it here and um, I'm going to put my floor over it. I'm going to edit this height. Right? So I'm going to make it, um, it's one foot thickness. So I'm going to make my building pad, what, two inches, an inch. It, it's just really for, uh, so now it's just one inch thick. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am actually going to go to my um, top view. Um, and then I am going to go here to home, um, go to my floor system, and to ask me, okay, where do you want your floor? Draw it. So I'm gonna, just going to draw it here. Bam. Or should I keep going? <laughs> this is a joke. I'm, I'm, the whole idea is to show you that um, you can have a cantilever, cantilevering uh, floor. So bam. Give it a back balcony. Okay, voila. Okay. Um, what did you say? It's, it's quite flat by the way. Okay. So um, now what I need to do is I need to cut a section, right? So that's on annotate, right, Keto? Uh, yeah, in view. But a lot of the things, if you're in 3D view here, mm -hmm. and you get much more options to modify what you're doing mm -hmm. when you're in the actual level here. So, right. so Mariana, that was your... Uh, answer is because you weren't in the level view plan. So now we're in level one and we're going to go to view here and go to section and, and then it's going to ask you where do you want to cut it. Cut it from here to here. Bam. Click it. And that's, that's good, huh? Right. And you could, so if you escape from that because the section is selected, you can either double click on the section bubble and it'll take you to that view, or you can go to your, in the lower left part of the screen, there's a project browser, and now you'll see that there's a sections uh, building here uh, area there that you can expand that and choose that from the, there as well. So there's typically two or more ways to access the view. So now I'm in your section view um, plane here, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this to extend your viewport. Okay, and so um, for my levels, I want to insert a level. I would go to uh, view, and where would I do that, Kito? I'm going to put this in its proper position. Give me one second. Didn't you have it on there last time, Kido? Yeah, it was showing last time. It could be that those annotations are not showing because of the visibility graphics. And one way to go to that, there's you could manage the way things are shown, whether annotation is shown, whether certain building components are shown in your visibility graphics. And a shortcut is BV. And yeah, BV, and then if you look, we have um, options to control the model category. So if you uncheck casework, it won't show casework in that 
right? And that goes for any view, whether it's floor plan, section 3D view, so on and so forth. So this is an easy way to control um, kind of an overall parameter, right? Like you can, you can hide one element or one wall or one window, or you can hide all the windows or all the walls. And this is an easy way to manage those things. So these are model categories, and if you go to the next tab, it's annotation categories. And if you go down, and it does show that levels are showing, it is clicked. Mm -hmm. So what else could it be? Um, yeah, exit out of that dialog box. Go to the little uh, sunglass button or even the light button down here. Yeah, you usually just copy an existing level because there is, there's always a default to level one. Okay. So I'm gonna wrap up this video. This is um, just to go ahead and get your section started and your, um, your uh, building plane. And you can see this in 3D here. Then we have our, uh, you got your building pad, you got your uh, cantilever floor, and you got your topo there. And uh, we'll go over um, levels in the next video.